Many patients have had blood testing, which has caused more confusion by indicating false positives and indicating false negative numbers. False positive is when, for example, your thyroid markers are off and the cause may be the liver is not functioning properly to convert the T4 inactive to T3 active form. The doctor will instantly put you on a thyroid meds and gives you T4 and does not address the cause, which is your liver. False negative is the opposite, is when you have a functional problem that does not show accurately in a simple blood test because the normal ranges are too broad and functional ranges are too narrow. Normal range for testosterone is from 400 to 1100. Some labs, uh, they have 300 to 1100, normal. So somebody is 400 versus somebody is 1000, they're both in the normal range. There's a huge difference. This is crazy. The problem is that you have to be 80% sick to show positive on blood tests because we have a sickness care system. And many times your numbers will get related to another organ or system of the body which has nothing to do with why you're sick. Most chronic functional problems such as low energy, sleep problems, memory loss, cloudy thinking, depression, anxiety, brain fog, low sex drives, digestive issues, involve malfunction of multiple organs. When you have hormonal problems, we need to fix your gut, we need to fix your liver, we need to fix your brain, we need to fix your hormones. And we need to address them all at the same time in a sequential manner. If your blood sugar is out of whack, it is a problem. If you're like most people, you eat a diet that has high blood sugar soaring, then low blood sugar, and fluctuate and crashing sometimes during the day, it's no good. You'll have a problem, not only with blood sugar, but with brain function and a sleep problem and being fatigued.